All right, again. So we've got the uh, little pooch settled down. Ah, uh, guy was going crazy over a cat. A little bit of a crazy time. So, yeah, I actually forgot to show this last time. So, Warren reports just basically your stats and news and such. Uh, one thing they could definitely have clarified a little better is if you go over to the talk, uh, there's, well, the actual news of all this different stuff. And just kind of random stuff that's going on where you are not. So, kind of funny that you start off with 20 grand and the, uh... Actually, they give you 10 grand after that, and then apparently they just set the bounty to <laughs> exactly how much money they gave you. I don't know if that's meant to be an, a uh, joke or not, but there. So, I'm just talking about all the stuff that uh, the Resistance is up to and the fact that Fromp is open. So, Fromp is kind of a optional dungeon of sorts. Rogues, yes. So I'm gonna end up switching her to a rogue, actually. Or even a... Hmm. I can't really use any seal commands or anything. I think I'm gonna have her be in, actually. Hmm. I'm just seeing which one technically is... I guess the rogue has higher avoidance. Hmm. No. Okay, never mind. She's gonna be a ninja. But I want that knife. I'm not crafting her anything different. That's the only decision behind this. Still can't. You know what? Sometimes I'm an idiot who should look for weapon requirements. You know what? No, she is gonna be rogue done. Now, beast hammers, they've got pretty alright stats all around. They actually have a pretty good attacking class. I'm not really seeing a whole lot of point in using them in this run. Uh, again, as far as hidden stats that I've found, uh, the only ones I know of so far, uh, ninjas can move over different, can just move over terrain better. Hmm. I don't know what that movement is. Oh, a lot. Time to waste all the class marks. She is going to be a ninja after all, because <laughs> I just noticed that, uh, that the uh, movement and uh, jump is higher, which makes sense. Slightly lower recovery time, too. So, at the moment, she's gonna be useless. I don't really have any equipment that they can use. That's fine. And these crossbows are level 2. Yeah, so, I I'm probably just gonna have her running around with a crossbow later on. Until she can actually use her proper equipment. So, we're gonna be down one unit, but, uh, what. But yeah, I do want her to run around debuffing people. Now it's back to Prisero. If I recall, this is just one where you're saving the night guy that you don't recognize. All good and shiny? Yes, it sure is. Mr. Shiny Golden Knight guy just came out of Minecraft over here. And yeah, no one knows who the hell he is. That's because he's unaffiliated with any of these people. And they're gonna do the old FFT booting him away situation. You faced. I'm gonna go give us all the protein powder. So this is going to slow down everyone else's leveling a little bit, uh, since up till now it's just been spreading between those three classes. Also, there's another one of my favorite battle teams in this, uh, in this game. 
It was called our movie for some retarded reason. Ow! Ow! What the? That just shanked me in the crotch. The fight itself is pretty easy. It's just an introduction to, I think, Volkert's the guy na guy's name? For Shiny Knight. Uh, first units they send out here. Uh, the knights are just there to delay. The Berserkers, though, quite easy to kill off. And that is not enough of a drop to actually cause any damage in this game. Original game, probably would have done a fair bit. In this one, you generally want them to be in pretty high distances, and then you're only going to get like maybe a 20 off of it. But if you can get them near a cliff and knock them off, they're just dead. Right. Hope you like hiding in the corners. Thankfully with higher stats, there's actually some better accuracy now. For whatever reason, avoidance certainly does not scale as you'd think it would. And if I were to say anything for the balance of this game, it would definitely be that there needed to be higher avoidance. Even without their weapon skills right now, it seems like it's actually just the uh, archer's class bonuses. Yeah, I don't think berserkers get a class bonus, unless you consider a bonus to be extreme flimsiness. I mean, yeah, knights get their defense bonus. I don't know what soldiers get. I don't think they get anything. And Knopus has a unique class, but he's not for it. Uh, it's kind of like a just mostly elemental buff kind of attacker that, that's his unique one. Like he can he can provide an AOE buff to everyone around him, for example, or an AOE uh, like wind buff. And I think accuracy buff too, but that's really late game. Uh, early on, he can do debuffs as well. But short bows and axes, kind of a weird combination. Because all that does is really slow him down. And axes kind of suck, especially in the uh, one-handed department. If you've got two-handed ones and your berserkers and stuff like that, and your um, your uh, soldier guys. They're all right, but I don't know why they gave him such a weird mix. Like, he was an absolute beast with spears. How does that connect together? I know everyone made him an archer, but still. And... I'd say knights get a get a uh, block bonus too, but I'm not sure. They always seem harder to hit, but it could just be their additional equipment. They're always very slow though. And that guy just basically put himself out of the fight. I don't think he's even got Rampart Aura. Uh, normally the purpose of that move is if you've got Rampart Aura on, uh, you can just block a cross ape kind of thing. Oh, by the way, they're protected from debuffs in that stance as well. But yeah, if you've got Rampardora and you've got a uh, Knight, pretty much plop them down in the front, have them put on Phalanx. Everyone's just going to focus on getting around them. Usually the uh, AI can figure out that it's pointless to attack them, so they won't. Now, Will Ferrell over here is just sticking his face right in the front. Honorable and stuff of him, but not exactly a very good strategy. He is just as weak as his other ones. Even 
aren't particularly well trained. Again, I guess that makes sense, since this is functionally a resistance and all that still. So, right now we're actually a resistance to a resistance, which has another resistance that we're trying to save the guy of. So, figure that fucking cluster plug out. His remaining units won't even get a chance to play a part. This is really lining up perfectly with this constant onslaught on this guy, too. Just, just have one guy after another after another in the perfect distance to hit him. Now, most leader units in this game are immune to debuffs. Uh, they were just hard immune in the original. Uh, it's just kind of like a... Most of them are immune in this kind of situation. Uh, there are some of them that strangely aren't. Kind of works out, because uh, sometimes you gotta rely on poison and things like that. front. Well, I haven't been doing a very good job of saving your guys' dudes. But they just pretty much follow the uh, old king guy. Kind of background on the king, they expect you to read up on it, but his whole deal is he kind of just up and ran. I, supposedly he just kind of up and disappeared one day. And then everything completely went to crap. So the two on the left took over the one on the right. One on the right set up resistance, started going after uh, after the guys on the left, because one of them was a tyrant, the other guy was just kind of doing stuff. And pretty much everyone sees the Liberation Front as, like, nutcases. They have a tendency to you know, do the whole uh, crazy resistance thing. And now he joins as a guest. I had a little bit of a glitch with my controller there. Alright. So, first things first, as always, I'm just gonna beat him on the back of the head with a rock. Good job, sir. You have forgotten everything. Now, he is alright. However, he is getting downgraded. Sir, I need your crap. Actually, your shield's gonna get upgraded, though. And, you know, you can keep your good sword. That's fine. I'm actually... Anyway, do I need any of that stuff? Whatever. I want her sitting in the back doing nothing. So she's just gonna double crossbow it. I'm just weighing her down in the heaviest stuff I've got. So that hopefully she doesn't, you know, it'll take a lot of time. Um, I want to say Penalto is the one that needs the most help stat one. Actually, no. You know what, Edbert. He's been facing the ground a lot. I think he deserves to get some stats. I don't think anyone but her can even wear this thing. Here. 